Колеги, продовжуємо робочий день. До слова запрошую полковника Андрія Лисенка. Дякую, колеги, я даю слово колегу Андрію Лисенку, який є спокійним для антитерористичної операції, з найбільшим з істинної України. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. The situation in the zone of anti-terrorist operation remains tense. Along the entire demarcation line, the illegal armed formations are intensively shelling the positions of Ukrainian troops and conduct combat reconnaissance in order to engage the reserve forces of the Ukrainian army. The Russian and terrorist groupings continue relocation in the direction of the Balsav and Mariupol, and the mass personnel and machinery in a number of settlements in Novozovsk uh, district. Also, as intelligence says, the leaders of bandit formations attempt to mobilize the residents of the city of Gorlivka. We detect the increase of the number of military instructors from Russian Federation on the occupied territories of Donbass. They uh, engage in teaching local gunmen of subversive action and provocations. As uh, reported by the operative command north in the vicinity of Bakhmut, Bakhmutka Highway, the Ukrainian military are successfully repelling the attempts of uh, gunmen's offensive. Next to the settlement Zholobok over the last three days, 10 tanks of the illegal armed formations were destroyed. Also, the enemy sustained heavy losses in personnel. Over the last 24 hours, we lost five Ukrainian military and 29 got wounded. In uh, general, the situation in the zone of anti-terrorist operation is characterized with a significant decrease of the number of attacks because of heavy losses in personnel and uh, armored vehicles uh, uh, among the gunmen, and they are shelling Ukrainian positions from uh, great distances. At the initiative of President of Ukraine, the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine has uh, adopted a resolution that provides for additional remuneration for the anti-terrorist operation participants. The military who take uh, direct participation in anti-terrorist operation uh, get a double salary. In particular, the military will receive a thousand hryvnia for every 24 hours in uh, combat. Also, uh, additional remuneration for the destruction of the military te te machinery of the enemy. For instance, for a enemy lorry, 12,000 hryvnia, tank, 48,000 hryvnia, the self-propelled uh, system of uh, multiple launch 60,000 and a combat aircraft 121,000 hryvnia. At the same time, Russia con stubbornly s continues to hide its participation in the conflict in Donbass. The head of the security service of Ukraine, Nalivaychenko, said that over the period of 20th to 23rd of January, said that uh, at the instruction of the general staff of the armed forces of Russian Federation entered the territory of Ukraine temporarily controlled by the terrorists seven mobile crematorium. These uh, special lorries at the end of 2014 were detected in the Russian in the Russian Rostov region next to the state border of Ukraine. He also said that the hotline of the security service of Ukraine is being addressed every day by dozens of Russian citizens who are looking for their mm, relatives, including a Russian military sent criminally by the Russian Federation to the territory of Ukraine. I must uh, also add that those crematoriums were used uh, previously for the destruction of uh, the body of infected cattle. And we also informed 
uh, of previous cases of using this by gunmen and Russian military. So this is not the first time that those crematoriums uh, come to the territory of uh, Ukraine. The works on restoring the life, uh, uh, everyday life in uh, frontline towns of Donbass continues. Yesterday, the uh, cabinet of ministers adopted the decision on uh, allocating 10 million hryvnia from the reserve fund to conduct first uh, priority restoration works in Mariupol and provide financial help to the families of those who died as, and suffered. Uh, more than 3,000 people got help at the two warming up points and also there is a field kitchen. Almost 20 tons of construction materials and first necessity goods as, uh, were sent from Kiev. In the city of Ovdiivka, there is uh, the supply of technical and drinking water to the central city hospital, the old people's home and other social institutions. In the Baltsova, apart from this, uh, the electric supply, electricity supply is organized to a bomb shelter and other objects from movable electrics, electricity stations, six electric generations, and two filled kitchens. On the 27th of uh, January to Kramatorsk, the humanitarian relief from Kirovorad region came, bringing the roof tiles in the crossing point Tisa in Transcarpathian region. There is a, a lorry came with humanitarian help from Austria, a number of tents. The Ukrainian special services are detaining their batteries of the occupied in uh, Dmitrov Donetsk region, the security service has detained the informer of the terrorist organization DNR, who disguised as a peaceful resident, was collecting information, intelligence about the location of the positions of uh, forces of anti-terrorist operation. Yesterday, the administrative border with the temporarily occupied territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea, the Border Patrol has detained a citizen who was moving to the continental part of Ukraine through the control point Chonhar. He has produced a passport of a citizen of Russian Federation that was issued on the temporarily occupied territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and is not valid on the territory of Ukraine and the entire civilized world. Uh, it was uh, found out that previously he was uh, on Ukrainian military service in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea, but in uh, March 2014 he broke his oath and uh, joined the armed forces of uh, Russia. He also, on the beginning of 2015, stole a car and tried to move to one of the regional centers of Ukraine. In uh, the, also at the control point Shanghar, uh, during the search of a car, the border guards have detected 16 uh, hunting rifles and almost 2,500 hunting uh, rounds of uh, various caliber. Almost 300 law enforcers are supporting public order in Mariupol. The Ukrainian law enforcers in Avdiivka, Marinka, Debaltsev, Zerzhinsk and other cities and settlements continue to serve and uh, in the, during the intervals between shellings, they come to the uh, location of the events and crimes. They register all the facts of illegal actions and help the suffering people. The Ukrainian National Guards uh, and anti-aircraft defense are watching the sky in the hottest spots of the anti-terrorist operation zone, including Mariupol. Their task is to detect and destroy air targets of the enemy, including enemy drones, and uh, 
23 millimeter projectiles can effectively target both air and uh, land targets of uh, the enemy. Yesterday, at one of the military testing grounds in Zhitomir region, the training of uh, highly mobile commando troops of uh, Ukrainian armed forces started their training. Almost ever over 200 winged infantrymen are going through intensive training course, and the instructors are experienced commanders, members, uh, participants in the anti-terrorist operation. In uh, Lviv region, at the International Center of Peace Making and uh, Security, the cadets of the Academy of Land Forces, named after Hetman Petro Savidachny, were trained in uh, shooting from uh, tanks T-64 BV and self-propelled artillery systems 2C3 Akasha. They were shelling the targets that imitated the enemy armored vehicles, groups of infantry, and imitated the covered retreat from the battlefield. Within the framework of uh, the program Berehomet Foresters to Bukovina Troops, 90 participants in the anti-terrorist operation were healed at the, in Chernivtsi region. Yesterday, the Minister of Defense of Ukraine visited uh, wounded fighters in the clinical center of uh, southern region in Odessa. He handed awards to 59 Mm, uh, military servicemen who were in the anti-terrorist operation zone. Also, he gave uh, state awards to medics who every day saved the lives of our heroes. Although five servicemen from the special militia units which, which participated in the combat near Ilovarsk yesterday have received awards for the merit uh, uh, during service. Yesterday, uh, in line with the presidential decision, uh, General uh, Hennady Vorobyov was resumed in his position um, at the general staff of the military forces of Ukraine. Uh, rotation of the uh, servicemen in the ETO area continues. Yesterday, uh, servicemen from uh, Kiev 1 battalion were um, uh, sent uh, and, uh, and departure to the um, hostility area. Mm. Uh, Parliamentary Assembly of the uh, uh, Council of Europe uh, uh, suspended uh, uh, the uh, right of voice and the right of Russian Federation uh, to participate in the Assembly meetings. Also, they uh, suspended Russia's uh, uh, possibility to be reporters, observers, and representatives of the assembly. This decision was made because of the aggressive policy of Russian Federation towards Ukraine annexation of Crimea and burning of the conflict in Donbass and uh, illegal detention of Nadia Savchenko and the Russian delegation protested and quit from the uh, past meetings till the end of the year. Uh, 